Hi everyone, just a quick video on uh, battery clamps and your earth cable to make sure your car's earth or ground is, is connected up correctly uh, and being efficient. So why are we going to do these tests? Well, a lot of times people will think that the starter motor's faulty or the battery's faulty or the alternator's faulty, but quite often uh, it can just be the earth cable that's corroded or damaged in some way, which means that it's not uh, completing the circuit correctly. So these are some quick tests we can do to rule the... Uh, the battery earth cable in our out. So first thing we're going to do then is get the multimeter and set it to 20 DC volts, which is a straight line one. Set to 20. We've got the black in the common and the red in the one that has V on it for volts. So uh, like any normal battery test, we're just going to put the positive on the positive and the negative on the negative, And that'll be our baseline for the rest of the test. So currently the resting voltage is 12.76 volts, which is perfectly healthy. So the first test we're going to do is we're going to move this cable over onto the clamp itself and that's going to test the difference between the terminal and the clamp and that's going to tell me if the electrical connection between the two is good. So I'm going to move this onto the terminal, make sure it's a nice clean spot which I've, I've cleaned before the video uh, and the, yeah there's absolutely no voltage loss between the two so there's no corrosion between those two components so that part of the system is good. The other problem obviously is that this cable runs along and further down there where I can't see, it bolts onto the chassis, onto the body somewhere. Uh, all the electrical systems on the car have what they call a chassis earth, so they'll all connect to the body somewhere and then run up through this cable back to the battery. Uh, whether that's engine or anything down the front of the car, um, all return the same way, it's called an earth return system. So I can't see where the end of that cable is, but there's obviously another connection there where it's bolted to the car. So the other way I can test this is going from the clamp to another clean component. So I've, I've cleaned this nut up here that's on the um, plenum chamber here uh, and that is bolted directly to the, the chassis. So I know the cable's there somewhere so try and go for somewhere that's fairly close to where you want to test. So I'm testing there now and there and there's no voltage loss. So again that means the other end of my cable that's sending the current from the clamp or sending the voltage from the clamp down to the body must be in good condition as well. Uh, often people will test it against the engine as well. All your engine electronics are an earth return system, so somewhere on the engine, there'll be a big earth strap, and that will actually reconnect to the body and then come back up to the battery. So you can touch any electrical uh, metal component on your engine and do the same test. Just to prove that, because everything's zero on this, because the car's quite clean, if I go from positive on the battery to the same nut that I was just testing, 12.76 volts, which is the same as battery voltage. So that means the, the voltage is getting all the way around the car and back to this nut, which is very close to this cable uh, without any loss. So that means the system's working well. And I'm losing no voltage through the cable itself. So what's acceptable? Anything under 0.2 of a volt is acceptable. So um, if this is losing 0.2 of a volt here to here, either across those two over here, or across these two here, if I was losing 0.2 of a volt, uh, that would indicate that the cable's in poor condition. Um, beyond 0.2 of a volt, you're gonna start having problems with starting and charging uh, and the car's electrical systems fun functioning correctly. Uh, last couple of things to check, the cable, the uh, clamps on the battery, over time they do get built up with, um, with pickups, so, if the car's overcharging, so if the alternator's regulator is not working correctly, that can cause a bluish green copper sulfate to build up on the terminal. That will eventually, over time, obviously, reduce the electrical connection and start causing problems. So if it's bluish green around that connector, uh, then you've got an alternator overcharging issue. If it's quite white, that's an aluminium sulfate, and that's the opposite. That means that the car battery's not being charged enough. These are all because hydrogen gas is always escaping from batteries uh, all day, every day. Um, and the hydrogen gas reacts uh, with the atmosphere. So again, if it's white, then there's an aluminium sulfate there. And that is due to undercharging. So both could be attributed to alternator problems. So yeah, test the battery voltage. Test the difference between the clamp and the terminal to make sure you're not losing any voltage there. And then check between the clamp and a, a clean body, body uh, metal component and that will check the, the rest of the cable uh, and the earth that it's got on that end. I hope that makes sense, and I'll see you on the next one.